Hey everyone, Illusionist Dave here, and today I'm going to talk to you about gradients in Corel Paint Shop Pro. Gradients are simply colors that transition from one to another. You can have a hundred colors in a gradient, or you can have two. Generally, the obvious uh, smallest number you can have is two because you have to have one color that transitions to another. The simplest example of that would be this gradient. Now, if you look at this tool, if you click on it, you can see that you can just color, choose colors, gradients, or patterns. Today, all we're going to worry about is the gradients. Double click, your, or excuse me, just click once on that gradient. Now we're going to start painting and I'm going to show you what a simple gradient looks like. This is a gradient from white to black. As you can see, you've got your white right there all the way down to your darkest black. Now, I'm going to show you how to create your own gradient. This is so simple, so easy, and the possibilities are endless. I'm going to hit Control Z. That gets rid of what I just did. There we go. So now I've got the blank document again. Now this is a 500 by 500 with a 300 DPI resolution. Choose whatever you want. This is probably a little big because I had to reduce it, but it's okay. I wanted you to be able to see what was going on. In order to make a new gradient, double click inside that area, and this menu will pop up. It's your material properties. Make sure you're on the gradient tab. Click edit on whatever's already there doesn't matter click new and now um, I'm not even going to name this anything except example because I don't know what colors I'm going to use yet now if you look there are a few things that you need to pay attention to when looking at your gradient you need to make sure you look at the custom colors see if you click on this your regular color area will pop up and you can pick a color click OK and you can see it now changes the color now as it transitions you'll see over on the other end there is another color click that once double click this and choose another color say yellow really bright yellow actually click OK you can see you've got pink that fades into yellow. Now let's say you wanted to add another color. Go ahead and click this area right here, dead center, uh, and I did. I got it dead center. I didn't know if I would or not. Now click it once again. Double click to pick a, another color, say a, let's say a red a nice red actually let's do pure red that is if you want to do RGB settings it's 255 RG0 B0 or your HTML is pound or number FF0000 click OK now you can see this transitions from pink to red to yellow now I personally think that there's a little bit too much red. There's a lot of red there. What you can do is click on your pink and move this slider over to actually as far as it'll let you. Then you can move your red over and you can see you get a ton of pink. But now let's say we want more yellow. Click on your slider again and move it over. Now there's really not a lot of room that you can see that there's not much red now if you want more red obviously click on the red these are diamonds move these diamonds over and once you get the color you like or the gradient you like go ahead and click close it'll ask you if you want to save if you've made a new gradient and you've made sure you've named it already you want to go ahead and click yes to save the changes. If it gives you a gradient 
let's say, um, say you started out with duo tune, duo tone, dark blue, uh, do not save it because that will totally get rid of your duo tone, dark blue. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to see how the gradient looks. We're going to go ahead and paint brush it on. You see there's our, oop, I clicked the wrong gradient. Mm -hmm. Double click, go back, make sure you picked on the example gradient, which is right there. Now, I want to show you, you've got a little bit of pink right there. See how that's pink? You've got a little bit of orange. Well, actually yellow that fades to orange because of the, the fact that it is a gradient. And your red that fades to your pink. This is a custom gradient. That is the simplest way to do it. Now, I'm going to show you, because I know I was fast, I'm going to show you once more how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and make the this black again. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do another one. So remember, double-click your gradient. I like to pick a simple one. Say duotone green, just because it will give me less sliders to work with, and because you can always add later. So go ahead and click Edit. We're going to say New and we're going to name it example 2 click OK now we've got our two little colors now click on that once double click and I'm just picking random colors now there's a light blue and move over a little further say uh, to 20 Double click, pick like red, I guess. Now you can see it goes from the light blue to the to the red, pure red. Move over to about 40, for instance. Uh, if it doesn't get you to the exact location, you can always enter it manually. And there you go. You're at 40. Double click again, choose another color, say uh, that bright yellow again. Now 60, which we're going to have to move over, there we go, double click, mm -hmm. let's choose black, because it's different, click OK, there we go, it fades to black, and let's leave the green like it is, click close, you did want to save the changes, click OK, now start painting, and you get this really wacky gradient. So that's how you use gradients and how you uh, make them. You can use them for all kinds of different things. Uh, it's really up to you what you want to use them for. They can make some pretty cool backgrounds or you can actually overlay them onto other images to, in fact, let's just do that real quick. I know I'm running out of time. And I apologize that. Uh, let's say uh, gonna open up this. All right. All right. We got this nice image of this girl. We're gonna create a new layer. Actually, we need a layer. Sorry new raster layer. I'm trying to hurry because I'm running out of time. Click OK. You've got your paintbrush. Start painting the gradient over like that. Now uh, you can change the mode to num whatever you want. Dark, uh, excuse me, right there. Told you I'm hurrying. Now again, change it to whatever you want to do. See, in, I don't know if you can see all that, but you get some really neat effects. Hang on. You get some really neat effects depending on what you want. That's cool. So it's really whatever you want. Those are gradients. Those are how you can use them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm getting out of here because I have wasted too much time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any